Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints and the YouTube channel of Skip Allen. This is a video four in a series of videos about recovering your custom uh, information or custom files if you have a painter crash. Now we've recovered libraries, brush libraries, and brush categories. I'm going to now show you how to recover your paper libraries, your flow map libraries, your pattern libraries, gradients, looks, nozzles, portfolio images, selection images, and weaves. Okay? Now, they're all done in the same manner. And they're done in the same manner as uh, that we uh, recovered the brush libraries. You basically zip the contents of the fo folder and then change the zip extension to the appropriate ex extension. So let's give that a try. I'm going to go back and open up my Windows Explorer. And this time I'm going to go to Papers. And I click on Papers and open it. And inside of Papers, just like inside of Brushes, I have a whole bunch of uh, folders. And each one of these folders is a paper library. So if I want to get what's in the paper library, I just open the paper library. That one's kind of full. Let's get one that's not quite so full. We'll go to Rice Papers. Okay, I open the paper library, and just like with brush libraries, I select the very top one, come down to the bottom, and holding down my shift key, I select the rest of them. Now all I need to do is right-click and send to compress zip folder, just like uh, we've done in, uh, with brush libraries. Now what I want to do is change the name, and in this case the name is Rice Paper. So I'm just going to get rid of the number 3. Whoops. Try that again. I hit the wrong button. There. Rice Paper. And then I'm going to change the zip to the appropriate extension. Now, what is the appropriate extension? Well, let me show you how to determine that so uh, you'll always know what to use. If we go back to Painter and we go into Window and click on uh, our Paper Libraries and we bring that panel in, if I click on the Flyout menu, and then click on Import Paper Library, I'll get a folder, I mean a window that opens up that's Import the Library. At that point down here, we will see what I'm trying to import. I'm trying to import Paper Library, and the extension should be dot .Paper Library. So no matter what you're trying to import, uh, let's say we open up flow maps and we'd open up the flow map library again if i come to the import flow map library then i'm going to see and if i hover over it, it'll open up i'm going to see that it's dot flow map come back flow map library okay so let's go back to where we were And I need to rename this zip extension to paper library. And if I click uh, enter, I'll get that same error message that it might be unusable, but I want to change it anyway. So I now have a library called paper, Rice Paper Library. Okay, so let's go back to Painter. And with the paper library, I click on import paper library. I'm going to go to where I made it, which was in the 2015 saved uh, workspace. And I'm going to papers and down the list until I see. Oh, no, it's it. I thought it was in the list, but it's not. I need to go to rice papers. There we go. And there inside of Rice Paper is my uh, library that I created. So I click on that and click on Open. Now what's going to happen is my Rice Papers 
are now added to Painter, and I have those totally recovered. Okay, so again, I would go down the list of paper libraries and import each one of these. Now, the same thing would be true for a flow maps. These are all flow map libraries. I would import all of those. The same thing would be true for looks. In this case, brush looks is the standard, but Sumi was a new uh, library, so I would open it select the whole thing, change it to the appropriate extension, zip it, change it to the appropriate extension. Same thing for any of these nozzles, uh, patterns, portfolio, portfolio images, portfolio, <laughs> tongue tied today, portfolio selections, and so forth. Now, I'll come back in the next video and we'll talk about color sets and a few other things like that. Okay, so that's it for now. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.